Hi everyone, this is Gleb. Recently I've seen this project called React Dark Mode. And it's pretty much a little widget, we'll see it in a little bit. It controls light or dark theme on the page. It saves it in local storage. It uses media preference, maybe the system uh, tells you what to use. It restores it and toggles. It's nice. Uh, the one thing that kind of caught my attention uh, this test, right? And the offer says it's optional. And I was like, you just mount this component in the page and it's there. You literally just testing the React mount component. You don't test anything that relates to the functionality. You never test anything uh, regarding local storage that saves the theme and restores it. You never confirm that it uses media query. So. Is there a better way to actually see what the component is doing during the run? So this is where the Cypress component testing comes into play. We're going to replace all these tests that run in the uh, you know, terminal dump browser emulation with actual browser. Okay, so to look up how to use and set up Cypress component testing, there is a repo, uh, Cypress component testing examples, and I'll put it in the description. But basically all you have to do, just pick which particular type of project you have, like this project was React and TypeScript, and configure it in your project. In my case, it were just install a couple of dependencies, like Cypress React, Cypress Web Dev Server, point at component testing, and we're going to keep them in the same folder right next to the source files. And then inside the plugin file, just inject the correct web dev server. So let's do this. So I'm going to take this folder and I'll say dark mode, I guess, back CTTSX, right? This will be my test for dark mode component. And at first, let's just see what it does, right? Like we're going to mount this component and we want to see it work. So we're going to need React. We'll import the dark mode from dark mode and import mount from Cypress React. Okay, let's bump this a little bit and let's say it works. Yeah, that sounds reasonable, right? We want to mount the components on the page. In order for us to open the component test runner, use Cypress Open CT. So instead of open, use Open CT. Okay, notice it starts some kind of web dev server, right? And then we see a browser, actual Chrome in this case, with all our spec files. And let me bump this a little bit. Okay, so what do we see? Well, we see the commands just like we see in normal command log in Cypress. We see the test name and we see a menu web application. We see the component running and it functions. That's pretty sweet. We even have React DevTools, right? So we can see our component in the iframe. That's pretty sweet. Let's write a couple of tests. So by default, it should not have, um, it should not be checked. Right, so let's get and I guess what is this? That's a slider, but the checkbox is probably under it. Okay, elements. So what do we have here? A checkbox, checkbox. Okay, so checkbox mm, should not be checked. Okay, yeah, that's correct. And let's check. Uh, I mean, let's change the theme. It's a slider, so we're gonna click on it. We see our component is working. So now that checkbox should be checked. Okay, and again, we kind of confirming what we can see on the page as like a real user. Uh, let's confirm that the theme of this document changes, right? We can um, look at the document, right, that we have right here. And the trick here is to take a document and it take its document element. That's where the theme will be applied and we're just confirming an attribute. Okay, well, if we're confirming the attribute after the action, let's confirm 
that uh, not have attribute dog. All right, we always want to confirm something initially, and that it changes after the user action. Uh, we know that our component stores the theme in the local storage, so let's confirm that. So we can say uh, wrap local storage, and I like wrapping things because that will make it asynchronous command that really checks it after all these commands have finished, right? So it's not out of order. So here we'll invoke get item and the item that we are looking for, and it should be dark. And let's make sure that after each test, let's make sure that there are no nothing in um, in the local storage, and so we don't we want to remove everything. Or we want to move the theme key from the local storage, so that we always start from the same nothing clean slate. Um, now, once we know we can toggle back to light, we can click um, the slider again, and let's just verify what happens. Right? Uh, should have theme light, and local storage should have value light. Perfect. Okay, so we just checked the basic functionality of our component. We can see it in action, right? We can interact with it. Okay. Um, let's make sure that um, uses local storage initially, right? So if we put something in the local storage, right? So let's say we're gonna set the item theme and dark and I'm not going to use any suggestions uh, from a GitHub Copilot. Uh, I'm just going to mount it and I'm just going to confirm that it's checked. Huh? How cool is that? Right? Uh, maybe let's confirm that the document is also, also has the same dark theme. Okay. And another thing in the absence of local storage, it uses even something else right so this component looks at window match media right whatever operating system sets there so let's confirm that this works how do we do that well this component calls window method match media with this argument to query the current preference and then gets the matches so in our test what we can do we can say we'll say get the window right then you get the window object and now stop window match media method. Okay. And we'll return matches true. Right. So match media will always return true no matter how you ask. Right. And let's give it an, uh, uh, an Alice. And our TypeScript complains about it because it's seen on stop. And I'll just, just ignore it for now. Let's run this test in isolation. Right now we haven't mounted the component, but we expect it to be dark, right? So we can see that the component did call a window match media, and we can see the arguments that it used. So let's confirm that these arguments were actually passed. That's what the component asked for. So we'll get our um, match media, and we will confirm that it was called with the right argument. Nice. And if we have more tests, right, we can run all of them at once. And if we change something in our component, for example, if we, let's say, accidentally misspell something, well, because our spec file imports that component, all our tests will automatically rerun and they'll catch the problem right away. So we can keep working on the component and the test at the same time rerun the relevant component test. So this is how much I love Cypress component testing.